Hello. Now we are going to discuss about one very important thing that is annoying. But if you know, if you see this video, it will not be annoying anymore. You don't need to remain this by heart. I always kept it in mind. But you know, as you grow older, you have more things that you are increasing in your memory. And probably the old things are going away. Those are important stuff. But you know, that's why you have YouTube, you have content and all those things. So this one, I built it for you all as well as me. When I get stuck, I just go to the YouTube channel and you can see the video or, you know, uh, before I used to create a document, but, you know, as the world goes, as my kids uh, kid is playing in YouTube, I love YouTube, you know, because it's more, uh, more interactive. I want to see the video. I want to listen to some voice, though it may not be sweet but you know uh, it's good so here the requirement is suppose i have a requirement that um let me first uh, do some uh, stuff that would be interesting okay so i have a requirement here that i have a bunch of table okay and in this table i want i need to see whether the table has a table maintenance generator and whether the table maintenance generator has a transaction code attached to it. Now you might say, what is the table maintenance generator? Table maintenance generator is something that you have created a, a custom table, a simple custom table. And here in that custom table, you have maintained where you are going to maintain the table entry manually. So in order to maintain the table entry manually, you will have to create a table maintenance generator. So when you create a table maintenance generator, you just go to utilities. So this is the table. I go to table maintenance generator. And from here, I can see the table maintenance generator has been created. That's one task. But most companies, everyone knows that from the security side, it's always good that you attach a T code to it because you can maintain a table through SM30, but SM30, anything that starts with S cannot be given to the business. You just need to understand. Those are the security, SAP security guidelines. So it's always good to know. SM30 cannot be given because it's a wide range and you have to do more security to mitigate the risk. So what, they, what we do is we create a special transaction code just to maintain that. So how will you know what what is this transaction code? What is the transaction code for this table? Okay, it's 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 terrible. So what happens is the only way you can know it is I go to session, I create a session, and I feel lucky. If I feel lucky, I'll be seeing that in the function group, probably somewhere. Okay, so let me go and I'll go into function group, and it will be hit and try. Because you may not know exactly which one is is it for. So here I am in the function group. Okay, and you see, I go here, I click, you know, and now I look for a transaction. So it's not there. Another way is I think okay when I probably create a table maintenance generator, probably the table has been. Uh, transferred through that transport so it's a lot of pain it's like 30 minutes an hour just to find something and eventually you want, you probably create a duplicate one which is which is bad so how will you know it? so the first thing in sap you first understand everything is a freaking sap table entry you need to know the table entries so the first thing what i'll be doing is suppose the same thing i get this is the table this is my table so this is this is the old way, which is the which is the long way, and which is this the next one is the short way or the slacker way, which you can call me this me as slacker, but smart and slacker because you want to do the work, but in a smarter way. Okay. So let's go. What we what we can do is we will go here, and I'll show these two tables we have to see. Okay first table is first we have to see whether there is a table maintenance generator already created the first table is tvdir okay so here i go to table name and i exit if you have an entry here 
that means you have a table you have a table material instrument okay that's it so this is good now then once you have the entry so it first the first hurdle second you have to go to the state tstcp and here in the parameter you just populate this and you populate this okay like this with stars and stars white cards and you execute and voila and when you see these things that means there is an entry you just need to click on this 99999 and that's it here is the key code that is associated with this table mental instrument so how much uh, time it took it probably took then less than one minute okay but in that other process it would have taken 100 minutes it would have taken 30 minutes 50, 40 minutes an hour uh, you know and if you have multiple tables like this can you imagine it's like a whole day of work and after you come home you're just tired you know and uh, so that's the smartest way to find whether a table maintenance generator has been created for a table as well and uh, what is the t code associated with it now if any one of this fail if the first thing failed that means you have to create a table maintenance generator. if the second table fail that means the table maintenance generator has been created but you want to create the transaction code. So here, I'll just show you how it looks. So I'll just go here. Now, what is the transaction code? To create a transaction code is SE93. Okay, so I go to SE93 and I populate this display. And here you can see, this is the way you create a table maintenance generator transaction so so this will this tutorial will probably help you a lot you probably the tutorial is for probably four or five minutes but it will help you every time you try to find a table transaction code associated with the table you'll save at least probably 30 minutes of this time so uh, thanks for listening to this video and stay tuned to my channel and happy SAP learning